great chiller cleaning. Oh, look at the stuff coming out of this. Now, this is supposedly a clean plate chiller. I got it flowing reverse. And it's in one of our new uh, cleaning trays. And pause. Okay, it's been going, I don't know, 30 seconds. You see the stuff. Now we're going to add some accelerator brewery wash. And let's see what happens. Of course, I'm not measuring anything here. I'm just throwing it in. All right. Let's see what happens here. Boy, for a clean plate chiller, this thing is not... Uh, yeah, the water's starting to turn green. Looks like it's working. I can't believe that the water is actually turning green. Tip the side side a little bit so I don't get so much splashing. There, that's better. Now we're not splashing as much. What I ought to do is stop it in a little bit and uh, reverse it. Go the other way and see what comes out of it. But unfortunately, now that the water has got soap in it <clears throat> and all the organics, it's heading up. And look at the debris floating back here. Now this this plate chiller was supposedly clean. So, all right, guys, Kenny from Accelerator. This is the net results of what happens when we ran our Accelerator washed through a plate chiller. Uh, you can see it's pretty astounding how much stuff came out of it. And the gentleman that gave me this, um, he actually bought a, uh, a Max, Accelerator Max. And it's been sitting around for about a year. So I decided to try it in our new tray and pump some accelerator through it. And this is what we got. Look at the goodies floating around in here. And I, and I only ran it for five minutes. Um, I'm going to try and pat.